Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we'll have a little series of video um, examining one of the um, settings in the virus and threat protection options of the Windows Security app. This is the same in Windows 11 and Windows 10 so what you see here should be there on Windows 10 also. And so first setting, so if you open your Windows Security app and go into virus and threat protection Go under Virus and Threat Protection Settings into Manage Settings. So these are the settings we're going to examine. Um, these are um, demands from some of the viewers of going through more of the different settings and the different security options also. Uh, and so what each option does. So the first, real-time protection. And this is what is the main protection uh, that offers Windows Security. And if you're using another uh, antivirus, um, you have a real-time protection on every antivirus. What that does is to the best of its ability, because that's the problem with the virus, uh, antivirus software, is they're not 100%. None of them are. And depending on the test, because the problem is the tests that they do, of course, um, are tests that are controlled with their own, you know, set of antivirus that they go through and then will say, well, we are 100%. And uh, yeah, the problem is there are thousands of new threats uh, every month. And this ability of the real-time protection goes into two phases. One is having sort of a look at code and trying to figure out if what you see in the code is malicious. So a lot of viruses share a common way of being programmed that will kind of you know, tell you, well, this looks like malicious code. But the problem is, it's a little difficult. There's a lot of ways of programming. And it doesn't necessarily mean because something wants to modify something else that it's a virus. It could simply be a setting that it wants to change for some reason. And what happens is that the antivirus will start by looking at the code and see if it can kind of identify maybe some way that it could be malicious. And the other one is comparing it to known code about different malware out there. So that's the main protection. The protection with known code works probably well. And that's probably the 100% you see on every antivirus. The problem really arises with all the different hundreds of malware that show up that are not in a list yet and that you technically could encounter. And that's where antivirus are not that good. And that's where, and that's why I always say antivirus is not what you have to rely on. Never rely on your antivirus or you will get bitten. Uh, people that do bad things actually are the ones that have a lot of viruses because what happens is that they are often encountering new variants and new viruses that none of the antivirus out there detects. And you're already infected when the antivirus, you know, sometimes will detect it because of an update and, and its own, um, you know, protection list. And the other thing is um, a lot of viruses what had what they do is they actually when they get in the first thing they'll want to do is disable your protection but make it look like it's still working and that is a very very frequent thing so people think they're secure but their antivirus is actually not working but they don't really know so that's why security software you gotta not you know not relying on it is the best way to protect yourself um, just be careful what you do is much more of a protection than and having updates than this. So the real-time protection, that's what it does. Is it has to, you know, it knows certain things that's it, that it will be good at. But there's a lot of things that it's got to look at code of what you're downloading to the web, programs you're installing. Uh, if you, you drop a CD uh, or a USB thumb drive in your computer, it's going to scan all of that. It's got to try to recognize any pattern that might look like malware. Once again, that also can fail in another way. It can, you know, sometimes 
do false positives. But um, it does it to the best of the ability of each company having its own way of trying to find malicious code in what you have. And that's what the real-time protection is. It's working all the time. It's checking everything you do to the best of its ability. Um, and like I said, the real-time protection about things it knows about, which are virus signatures, that is good. It's really the malware that is not in the list that they have a hard time detecting. And I wouldn't put much of a, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know what number, but I know that on many reports that I've seen, the majority of antiviruses will not detect a very big chunk of new malware because it doesn't know. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.